my dad was a radiologist and I watched what he did. I would hang out in the reading room with him. It, this was in the days when you could actually go into some, someone's reading room and look at things. And so I watched what he was doing and I thought this is the coolest thing. Uh, but when it came time to making the decision to go to medical school, I thought, oh, he's not really making ends meet as a radiologist in, in India. And I went into engineering. And while that was fun, I think I always missed being a physician or missed the, the thought, that idea, what I watched my dad do. And uh, I tried to go back to medical school, um, but I could not do that because engineering is a professional program and medicine is a professional program there. And these were all, it's basically free education. We were getting in India state resources and you couldn't quite switch. Once you pick one, you stayed with it. Um, and so, in fact, the admissions committee chair from medicine said, better luck next life, son. So it was sort of the fatalistic attitude we had in India and we had to go with that. And so the next choice was for me to become a professor. So I started working on my PhD in engineering. I wanted to teach. I was at the University of Washington. And then I noticed people in this country were all going to medical school after having done something else. So then it clicked to me, yes, you do have some debt you have to repay to society, but you have to keep yourself happy while you're doing it. I was an non-traditional student. The first chance I got, I went back to medical school. You know, the engineering and the medicine came together very, very nicely in radiology for me. To me, it's a no-brainer being a member of the RSNA. It's like, I, I'm not even sure what I pay every year because it's not that much. And attendance at the meeting is free. So why wouldn't I, I pay for that and I get, uh, you know, I, I can get radiology, I can get radiographics, I have access to all these, these journals. Um, and the main, I, I think the meeting is the biggest thing that happens in radiology. You get to meet your colleagues from all over the country. Um, this exchange of ideas, this exchange of both technical ideas and workflow ideas and things that different people in different parts of the country do uh, in their practice, to be able to take it back and introduce it into your own workplace, I think that's, that's tremendous. That's, the value of that is incalculable. So I, I really can't remember what I paid for my annual membership, but I can tell you that I'm getting 10 times the value, you know, just attending this meeting and from the journals that I have access to.